Bonjour. Good morning to everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Nathalie. Today is my pleasure uh, to invite for a short talk on a most uh, current issue as um, assigning Russia as a sponsor, as a state sponsor for terrorism and using uh, means of terrorism. And we are about to talk with uh, Nathalie Loison, my great colleague. She's French, a former minister, a former diplomat, right. an author of uh, some books, very good books on security, defense and diplomacy, foreign affairs. And I think uh, Natalie will explain us uh, from the French perspective, from the European Parliament perspective, why did we pass this resolution? Natalie, do you have any reflections? I mean, why did we come with this decision right now, assigning Russia as a state sponsor of uh, terrorism? I would say simply because of facts. This is not even ideology. This is uh, watching what's taking place, what has been taking place uh, in Ukraine because of the Russian war of aggression since February. And it's not only a conventional uh, warfare. It's trying to terrorize populations, first in Ukraine, but also in Europe. Uh, and if there was one word to sum up, why I'm so committed to support what you're doing uh, on this, this would be Zaporizhia. You named uh, a maternity this morning, but we also know that the nuclear power, power plant has been bombed yeah, many times. time and again, right. that there is military equipment within the facility, yes. something that's never been done before. What for? If it's not, to intimidate, to terrorize, to take huge risks against civilian populations. Yeah. This is pure terrorism. Yes. And what's your expectation? I mean, uh, uh, well, we are asking uh, the European Commission and the Council right. to come up with a legal framing, and we know how sometimes uh, troublesome this process is. Right. Uh, long in, uh, enough, uh, uh, there are different, probably, perspectives. I mean, how it might be elaborated, because we need, I mean, a legal framework in order to e uh, implement this political message, which we are to send uh, um, uh, to the world and us, uh, first of all, today. I mean, uh, what's, what's your expectation? We know that we don't have in our hands the power as members of the European Parliament to uh, create this legal framework. But we have a very strong power. This is to be the voices of our fellow citizens right. who have a strong expectations toward us because they support the Ukrainian fight against the invasion. And we also know that if we are able to demonstrate that there is a majority in this parliament, despite political differences, right. despite different national mindsets and experiences, uh, to state that Russia is both a sponsor of terrorism, which has legal consequences, and uses means of terrorism, which is more a political statement but uh, triggered by reality, right. this will have an influence on the European Commission and on the members of the Council. Well, France was uh, probably the first uh, um, European uh, member state uh, in the uh, uh, last decade uh, which faced uh, a standing threat of, uh, of terrorism. So, you, you, I mean, you lost people, uh, um, your militaries were in uh, um, uh, North Africa, in Mali in particular. But, I mean, now recently we heard uh, um, a message from the Mali, uh, let's say, military junta um, asking uh, or even demanding, I mean, the French NGOs, I mean, before, I mean, uh, of course, the militaries left, uh, French militaries left, uh, uh, but, uh, but now even demanding the NGOs uh, to leave. I mean, what is going on in Mali, I mean, from the French perspective? Well, once again, to be clear and simple, it has one name, and this name is Wagner. <laughs> Wagner, again, uh, the Wagner, not a composer. <laughs> not, no, not a composer. Poor Wagner, whose name is poorly <laughs> misused. used. But uh, the Wagner Group uh, is now, let us say, in power in Mali. Uh, the Malian Junta uh, asked for uh, Ma Wagner to take care of security. There's never been more insecurity in Mali. The jihadists have never been stronger than since Wagner started True. working in Mali, which means, when I say working, it means uh, violence, uh, illegal arrests, illegal uh, deaths, rapes, uh, crimes 
human rights violations and the looting of Malian resources. But the junta owes obviously a lot to Wagner and is pushing away not only French military, but today we learned that the German military uh, working in the UN mission in Mali right. are withdrawing. I see. Okay. Uh, and they are not the first nation and at the end of the day I'm afraid that you and we have to leave Mali. And now they are going after Malian NGOs when they receive funding from France. <laughs> funding for water, sanitation, uh, fight against climate right. change, education, right. these sort of things. So this is completely crazy. And the notion that Wagner is putting uh, its uh, f footprint on Mali, this is not to help Mali, it's just to no. gain money. And again, uh, if you look at what Wagner has been doing in Mozambique, in Syria, uh, in Central African Republic, and now in Mali, and of course in Ukraine, sure. they behave like a terrorist group. And I do hope that this part of the very good resolution you worked yes. on, uh, asking that uh, the whole Wagner group is considered a terrorist group, I hope it will be adopted. Me too. And, uh, <coughs> well, seeing, uh, I mean, those developments, uh, North Africa, Ukraine, uh, uh, Middle East, uh, what should be the kind of comprehensive response of the European Union, speaking about uh, more, uh, more defense, more common defense, uh, more uh, security arrangements? Uh, how do you see it uh, going on from, uh, from today's perspective? Look, uh, we, uh, as Lithuania, France and many others, we are lucky because we are members of NATO. Indeed. Others in the European Union are not, or are not yet. Yeah. Uh, talk about Sweden and Finland. And we cannot only say, okay, NATO is taking care of it. We as European Union have to be a strong European pil pillar of NATO. Uh, because we cannot outsource our security and depend on the result of votes somewhere in Idaho or Minnesota, uh, if there is a different American president. And it happens. And this happens, <laughs> we might have more difficulties. Indeed. So um, building a stronger European defense is not going against NATO. It's going in favor of our own interests. We have to be much more serious in our deeds, mm. not our words. Our words are wonderful. Indeed. Speeches, yes. I could deliver <laughs> any of them. And many. Uh, a strategic compass, very good book, but we are not looking for a book. Sure. We are looking for security for our fellow exactly. citizens. Exactly. So, um, I think totally we have uh, disclosed some secrets, um, some uh, good news which uh, to happen very soon. Right. We had a, a roundup uh, around most uh, current issues. I thank you very much. I'm looking forward to working with you on uh, those issues which still remain on uh, our desks, and I believe we will. Uh, accomplish our work coming to the end, uh, making uh, Europe a bit safer and people uh, feeling uh, safer in, in the uh, European Union. Protected. It is my turn to thank you because it's a pleasure working with you. Thank you. You've been uh, <laughs> such uh, uh, a, a driving force in the resolution really? <laughs> on Russia as a terrorist state, let us say it that way. Uh, so we will continue. Thank you. Merci.